Project L is the acting title for Riot Games' 2D fighting game that was announced in 2019 during the 10th anniversary for League of Legends and is currently in development. The project is being spearheaded by Tom and Tony Cannon. If you're not familiar with their influence in the FGC, they're the founders of EVO, the brains behind Shoryuken.com, and started Radiant Entertainment, which developed the indie fighting game Rising Thunder. Tony also created GGPO, software that uses rollback netcode to create a virtually lagless experience for arcade and fighting games. And just like League of Legends, Valorant, and Legends of Runeterra, Project L is slated to be free to play. If Multiverse's Steam chart numbers tell us anything, a better price point and a better user experience are key factors for making a fighting game accessible. This video is meant to serve as a wish list for features that I want to see in Project L. I want to see how far they can push the accessibility envelope and make a fighting game that is truly for everyone. Single player content is something that is currently lacking in fighting games. Most fighting games have pretty lackluster options when it comes to playing by yourself. Currently, the main differences between an arcade mode or a story mode is most often just some kind of cutscene or dialogue in between matches that wouldn't otherwise be there. They don't really appeal to casual players because they lack replay value and can't offer the same kind of challenge or experience fighting a real person. The answer to this is to make a single player experience that isn't just an AI controlled character from the existing roster of the game. You could even use it to teach fighting game basics by introducing new mechanics over time. I think Them's Fighting Herds just offers a 10 out of 10 story experience compared to any other fighting game. It does not feel close. So that's where my bar has been set. Big lobbies also feel like a must have for Project L. Say what you will about Guilty Gear Strive's lobby system, but the parks are kind of a magical place for me. There's definitely a social aspect to each of Riot's competitive titles, and a big lobby to hang with your friends is very much an FGC staple, so you know, just mix them together. And you know what would make the big lobbies even cooler? An in-client tournament mode. Super Smash Bros. Melee had an option for setting up an in-house tournament. And if Project L wants to be the premier esports fighting game that I know it wants to be, I think a built-in tournament mode is a must-have. Being able to completely set up a bracket within the game itself would be an incredibly nice feature for TOs. It would also need to be easier to use than what we currently have available. A potential solution to this would be integrating things that we already have established. So the bracket could be integrated with the game client or or in a lobby itself. I just like the idea of being able to host an impromptu tournament without having to deviate too much of my attention from the game itself. If I was a TO and everything I needed to run a proper tournament was integrated into the game, I know what game I would want to run. Food for thought, seriously. Lastly, Guilty Gear Accent Core Plus R introduced me to a feature that I never even knew I needed. The ability to take control of your character while watching a replay. Currently, in any fighting game, if you want to practice something and you don't know how to deal with it, you need to go through a ton of menus just to go between your replays and training mode. On top of this, you need to be able to record the training dummy performing the attacks just like your opponent was in the match. More than likely, this is also on a character that you don't play, or worse, have never played before. Once the dummy is finally doing what you need it to, then and only then can you try to figure out the solution to the situation that your opponent put you in. The option to take control of a replay while you're watching it removes so many of the steps from the equation and just makes learning the game much easier. To the point where I question why this feature is not available in every fighting game. And that is all I have for you today on this very fine Monday. My name is Tuna Maguna, and next time we're going to untangle a tier list. See you then.